يكون عادين مو كيف دم دعوة فريدا كن فريدا عش بفخرين في الحياة لا تبالي idea so it's just so other people oh sorry i was giving you an example wasn't i so you know brother jordan yeah right do you know how he became a muslim well i've seen one of your videos right, right. so he was there um you know talking asking questions no no it started before that i think he was concerned about if i remember right he was concerned about his niece or his exactly that or his niece his niece because his sister became muslim yeah. and his niece uh, he was concerned about how, how she would be treated as a muslim woman and she, because she was getting older. So he goes on to uh, Google and to Google uh, how the rights of Muslim women and things like that. And he came across my beating the wife uh, video. And then from that point, he started watching all the videos. Then he started messaging me on Facebook and we had a few conversations. And then I invited him to the park. And then that's where we had, he met John Fontaine and then we had that uh, discussion. And then later on, mashallah, accepted Islam. So how he came to Islam was amazing, subhanAllah. Yeah, I'm not saying you need to now make a dramatic story that everyone wants. But it'd be really interesting, yeah? So, uh, are we filming? One, one second. No, is he filming? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, are you filming? You're recording, yeah? You are recording, okay. So, what was your position? So, you embraced some three weeks ago, isn't it? So, um, yeah, three weeks ago. So, what would you say your uh, belief was before you started watching the video? Because you watch the videos, isn't it? Yeah. So, what was your belief prior to the videos? Um, I was more... Um, you could say probably agnostic. Agnostic, I, okay. I, I live in Stafford Hill. So oh, Stafford Hill, okay. By yeah. Civic Jews. Yes, yes, yes. And I always admired the way they kept themselves. Yeah, they, they, they did their thing, yeah. way of living. Right. So it, it made me pique my interest a little bit. Okay. So I started studying Judaism. Okay. So you've got to read the Bible, I guess, right? Right. Uh, so slowly getting into it that way. Right. Um, and then you get paid back into it. Don't let me go. New Testament. Okay. Uh, then going online and seeing all the different arguments. Right. So um, I came across the Baptists. They're the arguing against everybody. Yes, yes, yes. And then I think I've somehow got your thread. So, okay. So then I've got the, you know, both sides of the argument. Um, just to pay I'm just going to do it. COE, yeah? I, I have to ask you, because I only come to the park once a month. Yeah? Ten, only 10 minutes. When you put it up, initially. Okay, when you put the video up, COE. Yeah, yeah. yeah you tell Leon. I only record, yeah. 10 minutes. Yes, as like a preview. You don't mind. Sorry to interrupt. So, uh, Hasidic Jews got interested in God, religion, Baptists. Yeah, yeah. condemning so, everyone. So, so, then looking into the arguments. Okay. Um, so, you know, and then I came across Hard Park Corner on YouTube. Right. Now, and it was just like a, uh, like a pressure cooker. Right. For argumentation, you know, and debate. Yes, 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 yes. And slowly but surely, I mean, I'm quite a stubborn person. Right. And, uh, but I take things, I like, I like to sort my own mind out about things. Okay. Sounds like me. So, yeah, so I just took my time. And I noticed week in, week out, uh, evidence of Islam was winning all the arguments. Okay. As far as I could see, anyway, yeah, 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 yeah. The most logical um, uh, debates. We, 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 like, we like to say, sorry, sorry, we like to say that in the park, you always see Christians ranting yeah. and Muslims and uh, atheists dialoguing. Yeah, that's it. You never see the Christians having uh, intellectual dialogues with atheists here. Do you get me? The, and I think the atheists realise that you can't have an intellectual discussion with the Christians because they go to, to emotional and belief and such. Exactly. So um, anyway, sorry, go carry on. So you see the Muslims are winning the arguments. And then bit by bit, um, okay, so let me, let me look into, so I've read through the Old Testament, I've read through the New Testament, right. not in great detail, but just understanding the basic premises. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then found a um, really nice translation of the Quran. Okay. Much of the world classics. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. It's very straightforward. Right. Um, from there, when I started reading that first, I started waking up with sweats in the middle of the night. And really? That sort of thing. So it really had an effect on me. Fantastic. Um, I just, I just took my time. I mean, I mean, last year I met a dialogue guy on the road in um, up in where was it? In East Ham. Okay. I told him. Okay. I, I saw. I told him about it. And he said, Look, just take your time. Just take your time. So I mean, previously as well. I mean, like I said to you. It's all different um, threads pulling me in. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. So one of these were fasting as well. 
right. So I watched a scientist scientific documentary on the BBC about um, fast diet, fasting two days a week in this sort yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. So I did it, and I start, when I was fasting, I felt I a, certain, a certain feeling. Okay. Um, I don't know what it was. Wow. So, um, through work, um, certain Muslims there, and they were fasting from Ramadan last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I thought, okay, this is technically intermittent fasting, let me give it a go. Okay. The whole month. Oh, wow. But as I was doing the month, I was reading the Quran, and I felt a real, um, put it in presence, for a real connection. Oh, fantastic. Um, so I'm not sure if, you know, eventually I'll, you know, I'll end up where, I, where I'm now. One thing led to another. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. It, So where did you take Shahada? Three weeks ago in uh, Forest Gate. Okay, mashallah. Oh, so you're local to East London? Um, yeah. Okay, because we're local, you know, we're based in East London. Yeah, I think and good, good, good mazes is our magic, uh, alhamdulillah. That's, that's fantastic, man. So how are you finding your journey so far now? Um, yeah, great. Great, it's the best thing I've ever done. Yeah? yeah. Are you, have got brothers around you? Yeah, certainly, yeah. Because you, you work a lot, you said, isn't yeah. it? Okay. And um, have you started to shake them up a little bit? Because when I embraced Islam, I was working at a place and they weren't really practicing. And then by the end of it, we had everyone regimented going to the masjid for the salah because the Muslims were down the road, you know, in the plaster. Yeah. And um, I was like a, a terrorist, effectively. I was so zealous. What are you doing? This is because I, I embraced Islam, me personally, and I thought it was going to be everyone be beautiful. And, and then I was looking at some Muslims and thinking, wait, what's going on here? So we had to wake them up to what they believe as well. Yeah, but I mean, how I look at it, everybody's um, at a different level of being. Agreed, agreed. So, no, but when you first embrace Islam, you have this idea that everyone must be practicing Muslims. Well, no, I, I took my time so much. I mean, I, I, I was surrounded by all sorts of Muslims. Oh, I life. see. Oh. So, yeah, I, I, I've seen the full spectrum. Oh, but I mean, the people that were on their team, through these years, the people that were on the team, they're the people that attracted me too. Alhamdulillah. But what I love about like this testimony, for example, it, it's not like you had a vision or <laughs> you were down on your luck and you needed something to believe in, you were in prison or whatever, which is not an issue, but it's just nice. So you were in a position of basically your life was going fine, you went work, it's fine. And so, so you basically just realised that Islam is the vehicle to get on with regards living your life. Living the best life. Living the best Alhamdulillah. Life. It's like I said to some atheists that you might have seen the video where they, they said to me, "What if you're wrong?" Oh, what do you mean? They said, "What if Islam isn't true, and when you die, there's nothing?" Well, obviously the first thing is I wouldn't know anything. What I'd be dead. <laughs> There'd be nothing, right? But let's just say that's true. What's your point? So then they said, "Well, because you've um, you've missed out on life." Right? Because you've lived as a Muslim, so your life now is, um, you've missed out on all the things you could have done. So I'm like, well, what could I have done? And you're like, well, you know, enjoy yourself. What do you mean? What, do drugs, drink, gamble, what? Sexual morality, what do you want me to do here? It's the amazing thing is, you see, even if there was no heaven and hellfire, even if there wasn't, I would still be a Muslim. See, I agree with this totally. I've seen this video. Right? You've seen it, yeah? And I agreed with it. SubhanAllah. Because, because I'm not a Muslim because I, Alhamdulillah, paradise, inshallah, is, is another thing. But I've got the best guide in life. Someone's given me the road map. This is the, this is the best way you can live your life. Yeah, and, and that's reason enough to be a Muslim. That's reason, SubhanAllah. And then you look at all the other things that you could be doing and you're watching people go down with it. And I, I, I stuff a lot, but I look at people you know, on the streets here, there, and everywhere, and I'm looking, thinking, if you were Muslims, you wouldn't be here. Because there's something that Islam prohibits that has put you here. Five poisons. Is it five poisons? Yeah. You've been paying attention, man. Alhamdulillah. So, it's logical, it makes sense. And then, and then you know, did Ramadan, and, and all of a sudden I had this uh, feeling, you know? Yeah, yeah. You, you, may, you may have seen my story when, when I did my first Ramadan, because it was in October. Yeah. No one told me about the summer Ramadans. Yeah. You know, October finished at like four o'clock, and um, I used to play pub Sunday football. And I might repeat myself because you might have seen that. Anyway, so after the football, you go back to the pub, yeah, and then the big plates of sandwiches come out, two big plates with cheese and ham, whatever it is, and then the alpha male gets the lion's share. His boys get next pick, and then slowly it filters down to everyone else. So I'm sat in this mosque, right, fasted all day seeing all these samosas, pakoras, all this stuff coming out. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, I've got to be quick here. Yeah, because this food's going to go, because everyone here is starving. Yeah, and subhanAllah, when that adhan went, and I expected everyone to start going, whoosh, 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 yeah. 
been, I never experienced anything like a life. Yeah. The altruism there was another level. Yeah. yeah, the care they had for their brother. You eat first, brother. Have half my date. Let me be the one to give you the date. Just a simple thing like that. Is, is it? Just with fasting, just the uh, patience. Of it. Alhamdulillah. It makes you think about things. And, uh, and you can't fake fasting. And you can't fake fasting. No. It's very internal as well. Yes, subhanAllah, subhanAllah. And it's coming. A real gift. Are you ready for it? Are you ready for it? Inshallah. But listen, we'll definitely take your details as well because you're in our manner anyway. So we might as well have some iftars together, inshallah. And, we'll, and I, I do have a, a Facebook Messenger group um, for reverts. What's oh, that? Is that yours? Is that yours, Daniel? Uh, we do have a um, Facebook Messenger group. Um, we'll put you in that as well, inshallah, if you don't mind. It's up to you. At least then you've got, you know, like Brother Jordan. Well, no, Jordan's not in there at the moment, but Brother East is in there and a lot of the other Revert brothers where you can. Any questions you have, any experiences you want to share, or you want to share other people's experiences, it's there for you, man. I don't know, but I'm doing that. So it's happy, it's so it's happy it's to see you. And please, please, don't be starstruck, man. I have nobody. But well, thank you, yeah. Thank you for your work. Jazakallah khairan. No, but this, this is what it's all about. Because, you know, people have this idea that I do this for fame and money. And it's, it can't be further from the truth. Yeah. Of course, it's a double-edged sword. I want to give people the message, the truth. I found this treasure that's been buried in muck. I want to clear the muck off and I want to present the treasure to people. Because why should I be selfish? I want to share it with everyone. Okay. And the problem is, here, the majority of people are coming crazy. So sometimes it won't penetrate them. Yeah. Maybe someone in the crowd passing through might pick something up. But we realize with the YouTube, mashallah, the, glo the global effect it had. So we realized then that we have to, we have to film this stuff. Then what happened was, Oh, you're getting money because we do the, you know, you monetize the videos. Um, and then we said, you know what, we're going to make a decision. We're not going to monetize the videos. We're not doing this for money. Then what realized is if you don't monetize the videos, they don't get recommended. Because no one's pushing them. No one's pushing them. So we, oh, so we have to go back on that. So, like I say, it's beautiful when I meet people that come to me and say, you had an effect on my life, man. You know what I mean? Not that I enjoyed the goal you scored. But just the fact that you've affected me. And I, yesterday, a young lad came up to me. If you're watching, bro, salam alaikum. And he says to me, bro, I just have to say, it's you who got me back on my dean. And this is like an 18, 19 year old lad, youth, basically. Yeah. But this is the effect we're having, mashallah. And inshallah, you'll be doing it soon. Yeah. Inshallah. Yes. Inshallah. Very nice to meet you, bro. Thank you. Salam alaikum.